The office is buzzing with quiet anticipation as everyone is in place, ready to surprise the military wife's husband for his birthday. She had planned every detail carefully. Colorful streamers hang from the ceiling, a piñata dangles invitingly, and a cake with happy birthday written in bold letters sits on the desk. Everyone hides behind the cubicles and partitions trying to suppress their giggles and excitement. It's meant to be a heartwarming moment, a sweet surprise that will make him smile. The room is silent, everyone braced for the big reveal. Then the door opens. But instead of her husband walking in alone, he Whoa. enters with his assistant, a woman in a tight red dress who is visibly pregnant. They are completely unaware of what's waiting inside for them. They are laughing, their bodies close together, whispering to each other as they step further in. His arm wraps around her waist, and he doesn't even notice the party decorations or the people hiding around him. The wife, her face frozen in a mix of shock and confusion, stands ready to shout, surprise, with the cake in her hands. But the joy drains from her face as the reality of what she's seeing sinks in. Her husband's hand is on his assistant's lower back, and their chemistry is undeniable. The assistant, playfully leaning on the office mini-fridge, is giggling, her eyes locked on him. The friends in the room exchange horrified glances. One whispers, oh no, this is bad. Another nudges the person beside them, their face filled with disbelief. Suddenly, the husband notices the decorations. His face turns pale as he realizes what's happening. What the hell is this? He stammers, eyes darting from the balloons to the cake and then to his wife, who stands there, her expression a mix of anger, pain, and betrayal. She holds the cake steady, her knuckles white from gripping it too hard. Happy birthday, she says, her voice cracking with emotion. The assistant steps away, her face flushed. I didn't know. I'm sorry, she mumbles but no one pays attention to her anymore. The tension is thick, the once festive atmosphere now filled with unease. The wife takes a deep breath and looks at her friends. Let's go, she commands softly. They nod, beginning to pack up the leftover party hats and decorations. The husband, panic setting in, steps forward, trying to explain, but he's cut off by a cold glare from his wife. There's nothing to explain, she replies. The assistant looks around, feeling awkward and out of place, avoiding eye contact with everyone. The friends silently file out, some shaking their heads in disappointment. As they leave, the wife doesn't glance back, keeping her head high. She may have been blindsided by this betrayal, but...